Sea serpents, lake monsters, and other aquatic cryptids are creatures that are often featured here on the channel. This past month has seen a rash of stories about strange animals washing up on beaches and being seen by confused witnesses. Is there a reason behind the increase? Is what beachcombers are finding really cryptozoological specimens? Just which cryptids are said to have been found? Let's take a look. Welcome to IF, videos on history, mystery and the strange. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a video again. The first report comes from Argentina and is from a lake where an unfortunate British tourist lost his life. The lake monster is known as Nahuelito and is said to be an animal which many compare to the legend that is Nessie. Described as a giant serpent or a huge humpbacked water darling creature as well as the old analogy of a plesiosaur, Nahuelito has been shown through photos captured of the hump or a serpentine body breaking the surface of the water. Could the tourist's death be linked to the animal? A recent video came to light showing the moment a gigantic creature in the Nahuel Hualpi lake surfaced and had many asking what it was and if it was dangerous. Many were concerned and pointed to the story of a British tourist who was trying to cross the lake in a kayak when he got into trouble. The body of the 34-year-old man was discovered some 20 miles away from where it was last seen. Local authorities had reportedly closed the lake because of weather conditions, these bad conditions being the official reason for the man's drowning. But could he have had a run-in with the cryptid? It reminds me of the case I reported on in the US when a group went diving on a wreck in bad weather and saw a creature that is said to be extinct. More on that linked above. In the footage, a snake-like creature is seen and this has led to the inevitable comparison with the Loch Ness Monster. Witnesses were stunned by their spotting of the creature which still remains unidentified. Many pointed out how what was seen in the Argentinian lake was a lot like what was seen in September 2019 in China. The Chinese river creature was caught on camera three times in a single week. Seen moving up the Yangtze River, people saw a small animal about a meter long and black in coloration, slivering its way through the waters of the river. The creatures in both videos are very long and dark and have drawn conclusions that they could be the same type of animal and that possibly it was the same beastie as is seen in Loch Ness. Loch Ness being the location near to where the remains of another animal washed up, but more on that later. As for the Chinese lake monster, it ended up being a large section of rubber sheet, sadly not a new aquatic species. Now let's take a look at a mysterious eyeless creature which washed up on a beach of a place known as Monkey Island. Local woman Erica Constantine, 25, was out walking with her dog in the area of Melton Peter Dimitri Park, very close to the US city of Charleston, South Carolina. During her walk, she and her canine companion stumbled upon the remains of a strange creature. She took a few photos of it, then posting them online, which started a furious debate as to what she had found. The aquatic beast had no eyes, large, sharp teeth, a body shape that can only be described as very odd and was around the size of a small dog. The photos taken by Erica Constantine show an animal that has been almost reduced to bone. Speaking about her find, the woman said, I take my dog to the river very frequently. We were just strolling and she went up to it. I saw her picking at something with her nose and that's what made me walk over there because she only does that if something is dead or if something interesting to her is over there. I honestly did not know what it was. It was the size of a small dog but the structure of the whole thing suggested it was definitely not a dog. I have lived here for about five years and I have never came across anything like this before. After posting the pictures online, she hoped that someone out there in cyberspace could provide an answer to the identity of the animal she had found. 
it seemed that there was no shortage of theories, but as yet no definitive answer. She went on to say, I thought somebody would be like, oh, it's like a seal, and then I would go about my day, but it stumped a lot of people. There are so many theories as to what it is. The cops said it was a possum. It's definitely not a possum. People saying it's a dog, and other people were saying it's an iguana. Somebody even said it was a bobcat, which was interesting because they do have similar rib cages. Reading the many online comments about what was found, there are some interesting theories. Some went as far as to identify the creature as another cryptid, the chupacabra. In a final act of desperation, the lady sent her pictures to a professor at the College of Charleston, thinking that they would have an answer to the identity of the mystery creature. She is eagerly awaiting their response. In the meantime, Miss Constantine has her own thoughts. She thinks the creature might be from a secret island overrun by monkeys nearly 40 miles away. She explains, It's technically called Morgan Island, but it's nicknamed Monkey Island. It's not inhabited by humans. It's all monkeys. That's where all the monkeys that the government tested on live. I think one of the monkeys from Monkey Island unfortunately might have got swept up in a current, the riptide or whatever, and then made its way to Charleston. It wouldn't really be the first time. My friend actually found a monkey fossil on the beach a while back, so I think it's kind of got to wash up here. Whenever I go to the beach, I always keep my eyes peeled for something cool because you never know what's going to wash up. So this animal was something very different to what was seen in Argentina and China and was not similar to the beast of Scottish folklore. Speaking of Nessie, in another recent story, experts said that the creatures behind repeated sightings of the fabled monster may be giant eels. A large eel species could also match with the two sightings I mentioned, but if eels are the answer, what could explain the skeletal remains found recently in Scotland that many have said are the bones and decomposing flesh of the monster or an animal of the same species? Again, a dog walker, it seems walking your dog is a great way to find cryptid specimens, stumbled across what looks like skeletal remains washed up on the shore of Loch Ness. The remains that were found were a detailed skeletal frame and skull, as well as some internal organs. This is when a twist to the story is disappointedly introduced. The remains are believed to be part of a hoax being filmed for an upcoming television series. The gory carcass appeared to be very real, even being cordoned off by police tape. However, the lifelike skeleton frame and organs of the legendary beast, complete with sharp toothed skull, was nothing more than a very good prop. The images were posted on Facebook by animal charity Help to Rehome Scotland, who asked the public whether they believed the remains were the real deal. Responses were split between the serious Nessie fans and those who saw it as a bit of fun. For me, it is stuff like this that detracts from the field of cryptozoology. When people see stories like this, they tend to default to them when more evidence is presented for a mystery animal. One example could be the very weird creature that was found on a Mexican beach. A group of beachgoers in Mexico, this time no dogs present, or not any that we know about, were shocked when they came across the body of a bizarre eyeless sea creature. The cryptid creature was found washed up on the Pacific Coast beach of Desterrades, close to the popular tourist destination of Porto Vallarta. On first seeing the remains, the group believed it to be a dolphin, but this idea was overturned when they got a closer look at the creature. The porpoise-looking animal had no eyes nor any fins and sported a rather long serpentine head filled with needle-like teeth. Many who have seen the animal say that since there are areas off the coast of Porto Vallarta that reach depths of around 3,200 feet, perhaps the creature comes from the part of the ocean that is so dark it didn't need to evolve any eyes. 
Could this be a new eel species that maybe lives in both salt and fresh water and would offer an explanation to some river, lake, and sea serpent sightings? As of yet, no marine biology experts have stepped forward to identify the beast and the area fishermen say that they've never seen anything like it. As such, the true nature of the creature is unknown at this time. What do you think these creatures were? Do hoaxes like the fake Nessie detract from cases that deserve more serious investigation? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, if you like what I do here on the channel, hit that red button, like and share. You can catch the latest by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.